Hello Fada, accent on the Irish language, basic notes and background for the curious, with session leader Renata Henley. From the Hedge School at the Irish Roots Cafe, more courses and information found at www.irishroots.com. Falcharua Vara Shaharja Gudi Hello Fada Sha Renata Ansha. So the words for today are I am from and where are you from? Is aus somewhere may and cut aus dutch. Now cut aus stitch, I think I've heard the Cod aus stitch. Cut ow stitch? It's cod. Cod. Almost like the fish, cod. Yes. Aus. O-U-S, aus? Uh, it varies between os and aus. Okay. So, kadas or kadaus. Kadas or kadaus. Okay, kadas. Dutch. Dutch. Kadas dutch. Kadas dutch. That's it. Kadas dutch. And that means? Where are you from? Okay. And the answer is? Is aus Kansas City, May. Is aus Kansas City, May. There you go. Is aus. Is aus or is aus? Is aus Kansas City May now? Is aus means what? I am from. I am from is aus Kansas City May. Well, now, the is aus and the May all together mean I am from, and then mm-hmm. you could throw Kansas City in there, or you can throw any any city in there. Does May sort of mean me or may I? May means me or I. Okay, so it's is aus. Is aus Kansas City May. Is aus New York May. Oh, Tayrira, really? Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> no, this, this is for all of our friends in New York. Oh, you're not really from New York. <laughs> no. You're pulling no. my leg. I, now, Peter, he came from New York. Okay. He was born and raised in New York. Now, New York is one of those those cities that actually has an Irish name. Oh. New Auric. New Auric. Yeah. Auric. But Kansas City doesn't. Kansas City is, is recent to um, Irish sensibility. Well, yeah, and the word probably wouldn't get back half as fast or as often in the 1800s from Kansas City as That's it did it. from, yeah. So, yes. is us Kansas City May. So, if you're unsure, just say it in English. Yes, yes. Is us Boston May. Yes. Yeah. Is us. Is us. Uh, us, us. Us, a little softer. Us is maybe a better pronunciation. Is us. But I'm no expert, so I think okay. I've heard both, or at least okay. I remember hearing both. Conversationally, people will know what you're saying. Absolutely, and that's what's important is communicating. And then the I am from was... That's the is aus. Is aus. And the where are you from is... Kadao stitch. Kadao stitch? Kadao stitch. Kadao stitch or kadao stitch? Both. Okay. Just... Kod, kod is the first word. Right. And aus or aus is the second word. Okay. So kadao stitch, where are you from? That's it. Kadao stitch. Okay. And the, the I am from was... Is aus Kansas City, May. Is aus Kansas City, May. So all you have to do is insert your town. That's it, before the uh, May. Yes, very good. So the word for the day was, I am from, and where are you from? Which is really, if you're in Ireland, you might want to be using that too to talk to people. Absolutely. And you might, you know, some people might really appreciate the fact that you've gone to learn the language or at least made an attempt to learn the language. They very much appreciate that. And do we have a second to talk about the culture? Oh, Sure. The Irish don't ask you what you do for a living, and they don't ask you um, how much money you make. They ask you where you're from. Yeah. That's the first thing, usually. Mm-hmm. You know, what's your name? Where are you from? Where are your people from? And that would bring up a whole Penelope of things to talk about. Absolutely. Oh, my, my. And what else would they ask? Oh, it might get around to what you do for a living, but they never ask you what you make for a living. <laughs> uh, and I remember, I remember the first time. And usually I, uh, what you drink. At, well, yeah. What are you drinking? Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. High what on the would list. it be? And then they might say, "Well, no, you don't want to drink that here. <laughs> you're in County Clare now, or <laughs> you're in County Clare. That's we right. don't drink that." No, here. Guinness. We're going for the Murphys. <laughs> that's, that's right. It. It's it's just a way to show who you are and who your people were. That's it. Uh, it's a very important question over there. I remember one time it took about a week, but I I was staying with these folks, and after a time they said, "Now, Michael, uh, did you keep the faith? Keep the faith. In other words." When my people came to America, did I? They knew who I was, and they knew that I was an old Auckland, and we were Catholic originally in right. Ireland. But they get visitors all the time, and and sometimes the they might have become Protestant or who knows what. So after we got to know each other quite a bit, 
they took the forward thing and said, well, now, really? did you keep the faith? Did your really? family keep the faith? Yeah. Wow. I, I, thought was, the, I lived there for 10 years and never once did anyone ask me what my religion was. I'll be done. And, you know, people in America think that it's such a big deal, the Catholic and the Protestant. But 10 years there, nobody ever asked me, number one, what I was or if I went to church or what church I went to or anything. Yes, yes. 10 years. So. That's you must have been very special. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, I think so. Well, I was asking them all kinds of questions for the first seven days, so uh, they had okay. to pay me back, you know. <laughs> I was a researcher and just searching for my roots, so I was I visited everybody with my last name in the county. Oh, my dear. Knocked on their doors. It was checked out by everybody, and uh, it was quite an experience. When I look back on it, I don't know how I ever came to do it, to tell you the truth. Yeah. But it sure worked well. It did. So that's it for today, I think, unless you've got more culture or language to add here today, Renata. No, it just is very important. Where are you from? And it doesn't mean where you're living now. It means where are you from? Where are your where people are from? Where are you from? Kadastich. Kadastich. Is aus Kansas City, me. Is aus Kansas City, me. Well, this is Mike O'Laughlin from the Irish Head School getting ready to sign off, coming to you from... From... What, Fada? Hello, Fada. <laughs> how could I how could I forget that? Hello, Fada. This is another episode of Hello, Fada, brought to you by the Irish Head School. And uh, look for more information on the blog. Slananish. Hello, Fada is a presentation of the Irish Head School at www.irishroots.com. These introductory sessions are for those curious about the Irish language and for those considering a course of study in the future. Renata, your session leader, also offers a course of study in the Irish language and language services on a regular basis. Contact us on our webpage at irishroots.com or by mail at the Irish Roots Cafe, Box 7575, Kansas City, Missouri, 64116. Leave a message on our phone recorder at 816-256-3360. Your hedge school needs your support. Sponsors and memberships are always welcome. So ends another session from the sunny side of the hedge.